What's up, y'all? Hi, I'm Genesis with The Culture Project, and today we're talking about men's role in the modesty conversation. Let's roll. It's been said many times, why do I have to dress a certain way if guys are the ones in the wrong for seeing women as sexual objects in the first place? Shouldn't men be the ones to get their act together? I don't want to change things about myself for a guy. Now the feisty Puerto Rican in me would say, yeah, you know what, you're totally right, down with all men. But today, I've got a bit of a different perspective. When we start off by claiming it's the men's problem for blank, that creates a divide. That creates a you versus them issue when that shouldn't even be the case in the first place. Modesty is something both men and women struggle with. How many times have we as women lusted over a man's immodesty? You may be thinking, immodesty? Please, how can guys be immodest? Let's think of all the times we've seen a guy in all gold at the man as something we want. A guy in thin sweatpants that doesn't lean much to the imagination. A guy who is shirtless in a setting where it's not normal or even wearing too tight and small of shirts. We get it, you work out, it looks like your shirts are gonna tear if you flex. Modesty is a part of chastity that both men and women are called to because the goal isn't to lust, but to truly encounter the other, not just for the physical. I want to be seen as me, not as some fantasy in some guy's mind. And it goes both ways. We as women need to strive to see a man as his true authentic self and not some over-sexualized version of a babe running on the beach in slow motion. It's not really about pointing fingers at who's to blame. Modesty is for everyone and is not a call to abandon looking fashionable. It's an invitation for me to dress like the boss I am while dressing in a way that commands the respect and dignity everyone deserves. Thank you guys for watching. Click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos. Peace out.